So once you have obtained your sample from the environment, you are going to need to filter out the unnecessary materials that are with it. So since I'm in the lab, I have my lab coat on, my gloves, my closed toe shoes, my hair pulled back, and my table has been aseptically cleaned. I have my soil sample, and it might look a little different than yours might because um, we need the, for example, since mine was found in soil, it needed to have um, phage buffer added, added to it once I came into school, came into the lab, and it gets shaken for uh, one to two hours, so once you've collected your sample, you'd come back to school, you would add the phage buffer to it, and then it'd be put in a rocker where it would actually be shaken out, so that way we could dislodge the bacteriophage from their bacteria that they naturally dwell with, and so we can have the sediment, the soil, separate down from the liquid, from the phage buffer. So sometimes you might have trouble with that, and it had, might have to be centrifuge like mine did, so that way it could be spun down and the force of the gravity would separate the two. So now that I have my sample, I have my filter and my syringe, and I have a empty conical tube. So this is protocol 5.2, and you could follow along if you need to, but let's see, it's pretty simple. I'm going to open up my filter careful to not take it out of the package because it's sterile and we don't want to contaminate. Remember, we're trying to be aseptic. I'm going to remove the plunger from my syringe. I'm going to take my syringe and I'm going to, if you guys can see that, screw it on tightly to the filter. Not too tight, you don't want to break it. And I'm actually going to set this here to make my life a little easier. And I'm going to open up this conical tube. Open up this one just a bit. And I actually want to pick this up now and place it in here. I want to pour my liquid into the syringe right here. So this is what should contain the bacteriophage that have been shaken off by the rocker. Cover that up. And so the filter that we're using is actually special for this um, type of protocol. It is a 0.22 sized micron filter, which means anything that's bigger than 0.22 microns will be filtered from going into my collection that I'll have of my filtrate, which means hopefully only viruses actually pass through. And if there's viruses in here, they will pass through. And then we'll get to look at them, we hope. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm pressing down this plunger and it's gonna feel pretty, um, you're gonna feel a lot of resistance. It might be a little difficult, but it's gonna go through. You just gotta push and be persistent. And I'm just gonna try and get every last drop that I can in there. Okay. And then I cap this. These all can become trash. And now I have my discarded soil sample I no longer need, my syringe and filter I no longer need. And now I just have my collection of filtrate from my soil sample. So with my soil sample now, I mean my filtrate sample from my soil, we'll place it into my mycobacterium and let this sit for 10 minutes while the viruses adhere to the bacteria. All right, so now I've had my filtrate sample sitting in with the mycobacterium for 10 minutes, letting the virus bind to the bacteria. And now I'm going to take that sample, add it with my top auger, and put it onto my plate that I have already labeled with my name, what it is, and the date. 
Also, for example, since my sample was soil, I wrote soil. So I am going to now take my sample, make sure my micropipetter is at the correct setting, and I am going to take this. my top auger that has been sitting in the hot water bath. You should always have a bin to dispose of your dirty tips. And just give that a slight swirl and I'm going to pour this. Barely opening my lid so that way I don't contaminate. And I'm going to give this a slight swirl so that way it covers the bottom of the plate completely, and I'm going to set it aside so that the top eight auger can solidify, and then that'll be grown overnight. And that is how you do a total uh, direct isolation filter. Filter. And so we have taken our soil, added the phage buffer, put in the rocker for a couple hours, and then we came back. We took a 0.22 sized micron filter. We filtered our uh, soil sample into a new conical tube. We took the conical tube filtrate and we took a portion of that mixed with the mycobacterium. Let that sit for 10 minutes so the virus adhered to the bacteria. Then we mixed it with top auger, poured it onto our plate that was labeled already, and set that aside so that way it can solidify and grow overnight.